Oh, nice and comfortable. Okay, <laughs> the first. special item I've brought is the Bria book, the infamous <laughs> Bria book. But this has all of my little marketing secrets. It has a little ribbon as well. Um, oh, don't look though. I'm selling it <laughs> in my course. <laughs> Use code Bria for 20% off. Mine's just the most standard like producer thing. My MIDI controller that I bought um, on Marketplace for super cheap. On first impression, what would you think I did for a living? I think I kind of knew that you were you were like an influencer, so like straight up from the I didn't think you had a job. <laughs> I kind of thought like that. Nah, she's correct. just like writing the social media yeah. thing. So I think my first impression was spot on. Mm. What's something you wish you knew before you started your profession? How to talk mingle. to people. How to yeah. mingle. Yeah, and mingle with like people you want to work with. Yeah, like. and like what to ask for. I think what each profession is as well. Like mm. I was like, what the fuck is a publicist? Yeah. And I'd like talk to someone and I'd be like, oh, I'm a publicist. And like, oh, okay. What's that do? Yeah, but I don't want to ask that. It feels like rude. True. So I should have done my research. Yeah. What do you fear the most when someone asks you about your art? Probably the mix. <laughs> like the yeah. mix is like, oh shit, that mix. Like, probably like some technical mixing thing. Because I feel like if I put the art out, I'm happy with the product, but there might be like a little mix thing or something. I could be like, oh, I wish I could change that. Yeah. What do you think is the hardest part of what I do for, li for a living? <laughs> yeah, you're probably probably right. Yeah, that's just hard. Just the once we start making that money and get someone else to mix it. Um, what is the proudest moment in your professional life? You're playing like bigger shows as a session musician. That was like been a really proud moment. But I feel like starting this production thing mm -hmm. and producing for you and wigs and like mm -hmm. doing that has been putting the work in in lockdown, like spending lockdown and being like, I'm gonna grind this every day f for like obscene amounts of hours and go a little bit crazy yeah. and then like come out of it and be like wow I've actually yeah. I'm doing this now yeah, absolutely. what does success mean to you success is really just like being happy and having like longevity and friendships and, and sustainability mm. and like just feeling stable but then I'm also like success is like stadiums <laughs> growing up like my it was always just like purely about fame Mm. for me and just like as a way of escape as a way of just like this is where i want to be and it's better than wherever the hell i am yeah now. yeah um but as i'm getting older having good like relationships and friendships with people and that that is really where happiness comes from and there's definitely no of, like, since tiktok as well like <laughs> there's no amount of clout that's gonna like change where you're at yeah what's the best advice you've ever received my dad told me that in any kind of scenario that you feel emotions or anything kind of like tough scenario you just ask yourself what love would do if love could be something or whatever you think it is yeah. that's how you respond to something if yeah. it's like a frustration or like a really drama or something it's like yeah. what would love do how would you describe your life in one minute but hey siri <laughs> set a timer for one minute. i'm gonna i'm gonna go let me know when it starts it started. Growing up, confused, confused kid, used to play heaps of video games and discovered music. Dad's a musician. Then he like kind of realized that music's like a really cool thing that he has an ear for. Then he starts partying heaps in high school and then vibing and vibes were the centerpiece of everything. Then found that you can't vibe all the time because if you vibe all the time, you don't create anything. So then I learned that you can create vibes and then you can be vibing, but it's actually productive. Mm. And then you <laughs> reach a point where you're like, oh, actually, I can probably like do this thing that I've manifested my whole life. So then I continued to go down that path and foster really healthy relationships. What's, what, what's my time? 14 seconds. 14 seconds. And seconds. then I ended up here doing this so Sonda TV thing. Yeah, it's all led here. Yep. That's beautiful. What is the soundtrack to your life? I really love Ainsley Wills' Oh The Gold EP. I think that's gonna mm -hmm. stay with me forever. I don't know if I've even, I'm gonna have to it's, listen to it's that. It's so beautiful. Um, and she's from Albury as well. I think. What are some of your strangest experiences? It was on 11 11 day. <gasps> and it was at, I got a Diddy at 11, 11 like 11 o'clock or something. So the Diddy driver was doing the moment of silence, was like stalling. And I was like, why is this, what's he doing? He's just standing in the middle of the road. And then I was like, kind of like, because I didn't know it was the minute of silence. And I was like, okay, come over here. And he like pulled up and he didn't say anything. I got in and I was like, what the, f okay, and like just silence, so I was like, okay. And then we were driving and the horns played and he was like, sorry brother, like minute of silence. And I was like, oh, oh okay, <laughs> makes sense. And then I was like, oh, I'll do mine now then, I'll do mine now. So then I was silent for a minute. 
And then after this, my silence, this Uber driver was the craziest motherfucker I've ever met. He was just going, he's like, you're silent for one minute and then you can talk, you, like he's just chatting like, I'm a crazy motherfucker, like I'm crazy. And he's like, we're all fucked here in Australia. Like you're fucked, I'm fucked. I was like, what, <laughs> what have I just gotten into? What are the three things you can't live without? Harajuku gyoza. The okay. sauce, the, but the sauce. The sauce, I literally, I'll drink it like a shot. Probably my Dorian Electra necklace. I, Iconic. The flamboyant one. Probably James, actually. Oh, I thought you might say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta make those tunes, gotta make it happen. Yeah, someone needs to do the, yep. the production. I heard you're becoming a technician next year. Can you tell me more about it? It's top secret, but it's actually top secret. But it's something to do with our Halloween costume. Oh! Yeah. There's no, well, there's no sneak peek, it's just the fact that that Zobot will be a, a thing. What was your experience writing and publishing children's books? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, where the fuck are you getting this? <laughs> it's getting like Nardwar level now, like. <laughs> <laughs> I did not give a fuck how I was gonna get famous. Mm. I just wanted to be. So I decided when I was 10 <laughs> that the way to do that was becoming an author. Made a series of children's books based on each of my cousins. There was probably like 12. I've got a big fan. Wow. What is BriaHarper.com? When I was 10, I bought the domain <laughs> BriaHarper.com because I was like, I'm going to be famous and it's going to cost a lot of money once I'm famous, so I might as well buy it now, buy, buy a <laughs> license for my domain so that nobody else has it. What makes a good office chair? Be specific. I just want one that's got the... You need to make sure you've got the things that can flip up, because if you're playing instruments, for producing, so it's like for producing, you want to have the things you can flip up so your guitar doesn't get stuck. It's a nice bit of lean back and breathable, because it gets hot, you and like when, you, when you're producing in your underwear, you don't want your, my bedroom is full sidetrack. But yeah, office chairs, thing like that. Tell us about the Bria star in space. Something I, manic pixie dream girl, when I'm like talking to like a potential partner, like if we're on like a first date. Oh wow. Like if I'm like with someone. The point of the star, like you go. Walking and you know, I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, he hasn't kissed me yet or like she's like not making any moves. I'll be like, oh, like I actually have a star. But, like, <laughs> but like I named as mine when I was like little, do you want to see it? And so then that way, whenever they're out, whenever they just look at like the fucking sky, they'll be like, oh, Bria. <laughs> Fuck, marry, kill, Ableton, Logic, or Pro Tools? Marry Ableton. Well, you wouldn't fuck Pro Tools, yeah, you, you kill Pro Tools, kill Pro Tools and then you like fuck Logic, because like. Logic has actually been there for us. Some fuck, marry, kill, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Kill Facebook. Marry Instagram, fuck mm. TikTok. TikTok and I have a more like casual vibe. I love her. I love her, but she's gonna die soon, and I need to cross platforms. I was looking at how long it took for Vine to die and what it was that was like the, the dead point of mm. like when Vine started to like go out of style and I'm sort of starting to see the starting signs in TikTok of like, same thing with like Tumblr and like the long mm. of like platforms, like it's really hard to have a long lasting platform. And so you do sort of have to look at like, what's the point where I keep pushing on this and then what's the point where you cap out and go, okay, time to migrate. Mm. Fuck, marry, kill. House parties, clubs, or raids? Kill clubs. Actually, wait. Kill clubs. What was it? Part house, house parties, parties house or parties, raves? I'm marrying. I need to be able to talk. Mm. And raves are. Raves are fun. Um, fuck, marry, kill. <laughs> I have opinions about this. Beats by Dre, earbuds, or those around the shoulder headphones. What are, like, yeah, what's around? Are those like, like just the ones like, that, like. Like the ones that sit on. It's like the ones underneath. underneath you know? Oh. Oh. Like the ones that dads wear? Kill the, the weird headphones, dad headphones. Marry earbuds, fuck Beats by Dre. Beats by Dre are overrated and you could get better headphones for cheaper. That sound way better. And it's all just marketing. Fuck, marry, kill SoundCloud, Spotify or Apple. Kill Apple Music. I'm sorry, <laughs> I know that they support their artists but their branding is just horrible. And I um, SoundCloud, I will fuck. Mm -hmm. I do love a good SoundCloud. Spotify, mm, the algorithms are just so tasty. <laughs> so tasty. Except they could probably pay their artists a little bit better. Yeah, you guys could. I actually saw recently that they're going to start paying less, which I was like, what? <laughs> so, hey guys. <laughs> saw in an article, I was like, we've taken a <laughs> yeah. Hard, long <laughs> yeah. 
at our business model and we've decided it's going to be best for everyone if it's we least. continue to fuck over artists. Yeah. Wait, sorry, pause. What was that? <laughs> I'll fuck them over more. <laughs> underrated or overrated? Dogs. Definitely not overrated. They're underrated. You can go for like, you literally go for 15 minutes down the road to get groceries or something and come back and they're like, oh, <laughs> you're back. Holy shit. If any, has anyone answered that question is overrated? I think they're overrated. No, because I'm going to have to talk to that person. No, you can talk to you me. Think, okay. Yeah, let's go. Under, underrated or overrated TikTok? Underrated. I believe that people's idea of TikTok is actually a lot different to what their experience would be with TikTok if they actually used it. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. the yeah. algorithm picked up on what they wanted, then they would have mm. a, a much more different idea. I think idea it's easily judged. Is. Yeah, because they're like, oh, it's little kids dancing. Yeah, yeah. Underrated or overrated home studio? Underrated. It's underrated because people will kind of, you know, be like, you have to go to a studio to make something really polished. Yeah. But I think that there's a certain quality that comes with creating in your own home that you don't get at a studio. Big believer in like the setting own boundaries when you go into a creative space mm. actually allows you to make better work and probably be more creative mm. if you're setting these own rules for yourself. Under, underrated or overrated Instagram live. Probably overrated now. It was fun at first, but now that like going live on TikTok instead of Instagram, like I'm doing the exact same thing on TikTok than I am mm. on Instagram, except I'm getting paid. <laughs> uh, who would win in a fight, GQ or Vogue? Vogue. I'm just gonna say Vogue. Yeah. I'm yeah. just gonna say Vogue. We love you, Vogue. Uh, yeah. Vogue. <laughs> who would win in a fight, Vogue's or so? Oh. <laughs> that's, some, that's some deep shit. We love both. I love so everyone. Much. I love equally every single person involved in both those in, things. In I would not be where I am if it wasn't for Psycho, and I would not be go where I'm going if it wasn't for Weeks. Who would win in a fight? Main event or the after party? Uh, definitely main event. Do I look like I after party? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can never go long enough. And I, I don't even go long enough at the main events. Like I literally, I'll, I turn up, I show face. True. I say hello, because I love all of these people. I love. I love the people, I just don't like the party. I can't True. do it. I learned, yeah, I learned that you wrote children's books. Yeah. <laughs> we actually, we don't, <laughs> I've never heard James say a single word other than, <laughs> hello, five, <laughs> five. So I've learned yeah. so much. Or like, try that, like just music talk. Yeah, when or, just like, or me being like, hit another, and yeah. do another harmony, and an yeah. octave. Pan left, right. Try this. And an octave above. Try that. Could you get serum? Those questions, those ones went deep, like. Oh yeah, where did you find? Who is They've done their research. They've just done the Nardwa. They've gone deep. Gone deep. <laughs> I'm gonna go interrogate everybody I know now. Yeah.